Salutations, my name is Owen Kirby and I'd like to present to you my launch pad component for Touch Designer. Uh, so the idea behind this component is that it allows you to take the Launchpad hardware interface as a starting point for your Touch Designer network and to easily address the RGB values of these light up buttons and to select the, between eight different presets and easily access the various button states, velocity states, and aftertouch states of these buttons throughout your network. So on the first level, you have the component in which the buttons have um, function in both, both senses. So you have uh, bi-directional functionality in those days. So you can, if you're working on your network and you don't have your launch pad on hand, you can use the on-screen buttons to click. And as you can see, your launch pad, or maybe you can't see it on the camera, but your launch pad will also respond these button clicks. Likewise, if I press the buttons on the launch pad, you'll see them displayed on the screen. Now, the way you'll probably be using this component within your network is by referencing all the channel information from the single output, the null over here, which contains all the channels from you know either button states, velocity, or aftertouch for the eight different presets. So that's a total of like uh, 100 buttons, times three, times eight, too many buttons. Uh, the standard nomenclature for selecting these buttons is the preset number followed by an underscore followed by B for button state, B for velocity, or A for aftertouch followed by the button number. So for example, since this is the sixth preset and the button orders go from 0 to 100. If I wanted the velocity information of this button, which is button 12, I would go 6 underscore V12, V for velocity. If we go one level within the network, this is where you have all the preset switching network and the MIDI sending network over here. So the MIDI ins and MIDI outs are already within the network. So you have to make sure to use the MIDI device dialog in Touch Designer to make sure that your ins and outs are set correctly to the first channel by default. Otherwise, you can go in and do what you will with the network. But as a starting point, eight presets I thought was sufficient. If you want to add more, you can go and figure this out and add more presets. The Button layout customization and RGB customization is done within the eight individual launch pad base components. So let's have a look in there and see how we can do that using the standard touch designer interface. We go into preset one over here, so that's launch pad base zero. Goes from zero to seven. And here we see that we have all our buttons over here. And in Touch Designer, if you want to set a radio group, you can drag select or control select all the various buttons that you want in that group and switch the button type to radio down. So technically speaking, oh, here we go. That's it's this row. So then it's, now we got some radio buttons. And these radio states up at the higher level here, if I select for them, Preset one underscore B for button state because I can still press these radio buttons with velocity information or with aftertouch, so with the button state. And uh, these are this is eleven to twelve. No, it's upside down, so tiny one to uh, eighty. 80.
So the next step is RGB customization. So most of this is taken care of by the on select top. So basically the idea is that we're going to be working with uh, 10 by 10 tops. So it's a 10 by 10 top over here in the on state and then all I did was inverse the color scheme for the off state. But I could be using simply different colors together, change that to horizontal, but then you have to refresh the display. essentially how it works. And then if you want to integrate uh, animations into that, like maybe have a, a running uh, sort of bar to determine the tempo, you do that within Touch Designer and within your knowledge of how to animate the tops in that framework. That's essentially it. And I think it's simple enough to get the feedback that you can start working at, once you've hit like an intermediary level of uh, Touch Designer. And, uh, that's it. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you improve on it, and that way we can all uh, we can all benefit. Thank you.